I think that as we accept the medical utility of cannabis, we are going to start to dig more deeply into the cannabinoids, the, the key constituents of the marijuana plant that are providing this benefit. Um, from a pharmaceutical company perspective, I think there's going to be an interest in trying to isolate those compounds or trying to work within the endogenous cannabinoid system, that, that system of cannabinoids which is functioning in all of us all the time without any external influence. Um, trying to target that with medications that can upregulate the level of cannabinoids in our bodies that can eliminate the breakdown of cannabinoids. So perhaps getting a cannabinoid effect without really taking in a cannabinoid but by enhancing our own endogenous levels. Uh, so I think that's one area of pharmaceutical industry is going to be taking. Uh, I think another area is trying to improve the, the overall quality and the regulation of herbal cannabis uh, because there are patients who realize that this is a, an effective way for them. I think if we can do larger studies of safety and we can be really reassured that if over long term this is a safe medication, uh, if quality issues can be resolved so that we know exactly where it comes from, we know the quant the uh, THC and cannabinoid levels of the plant, we can be reassured that the uh, levels of, uh, of other agents is, is, is non-toxic and we can be reassured that the quality of the plant product is safe. Um, then it's going to be a question of supply, it's going to be a question of monitoring, it, it's going to be a question of regulating the process so that uh, physicians are comfortable participating in this. Um, right now, as I understand it, in Canada and from what I understand uh, in the US, it's very much a program of physicians authorizing patients to possess the drug. It's not a prescription drug, marijuana. Uh, the cannabinoids are, and there are several prescription cannabinoids, but not many physicians even realize that, that these exist, so there's a lot of work to do even there. But to take the drug from being an authorized, non-approved substance to a prescription medication requires clinical trials, research, and so on. And I, I suppose, I don't, I don't know how realistic it is, but I think my vision would be that somebody will come along and invest in that process. Uh, especially if, as I see happening at this moment in, in April 2010, uh, considerable numbers of dispensaries opening up, there's considerable money going through these processes, there, there must be considerable profits being generated. Uh, that should be funneled back into research and education so that the whole field moves forward and upwards um, rather than you know, grab the money and run. I, I, we've all come to this through a process of slow realization and research, uh, and I think we owe it to keep funneling that. So if herbal cannabis is to ever become a prescription medication, someone's going to have to step up and invest in the kind of research necessary to do that.